At the age of five, I was molested at the church my family has been members of for over 50 years. He told me to never tell anyone, and I'd be sinning if I did. What is something no one What is something 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 What is your biggest secret? During my teenage years of depression, I got involved with a psychotic and obsessive guy that abused, threatened, and blackmailed me. I swore if I had the money, I would have hired someone to kill him to relieve me of the nightmare I lived in. My father died 14 years ago, but I still add his number to my contacts list every time I get a new phone. I'm addicted to porn. I am Christian but sometimes I get terrified that this is all that there is. Um, I'm not religious or affiliated with any religion, but we all have that similar feeling and I have that same feeling that you, your eyes open and all of a sudden this is where you are and this is all that you have. And that's scary. I don't think much about leaving, but I do fantasize about what my life would be like if I didn't get married at 21, have two children before 25, or quit teaching because more money needed to come in. When mom told me you had killed yourself, I was so relieved I would never have to tell you I'm gay. Um, first of all, as a person who is gay, when I was in high school I worked on a suicide hotline for three years. I don't want anybody to ever feel relieved at, I mean, what I gather from this is that a parent took their own life, like to be relieved, that's a lot of turmoil. I feel for them. I love my dad, but wish he would get a DUI just once. <sighs> yeah, I think that's always really hard when you have a parent and you feel like that parent isn't as responsible as you might like them to be. I think you can still love someone but wish them to step up. I think that's like a perfectly plausible thing to ask. My best friend died because of me. I'm 19 and I met her in a children's depression hospital after an attempted suicide. A day after she contacted me and for some reason I, I didn't reply. I was scrolling through my Instagram feed. I clicked her icon but then the comments, RIP. Miss you so much. It was then that I knew I had killed someone I loved. This situation hits me, it, it hits me so deeply and, and almost instantly. It's a subtle reminder that the influence that you leave on somebody could be eternal. There's power in, 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 in your presence. There's power in your influence. There's power in who you are. 